This is calculator question number 20 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us the equation of a circle and they ask if we translate this down until the circle is tangent to the x-axis, how far down do we have to translate it? So let's graph the equation of the circle. First of all, the general equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we have x minus 6 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. So the center, hk, is 6, 3. And the radius, r, is equal to 5. Sketching the graph. I found that even if I'm not given graph paper, I can graph accurately enough to be useful if I'm careful, especially about spacing. So my center is at x equals 6, y equals 3, more or less there. And radius 5 means I go 5 below 6. 5 to the left of 6 is 1. 5 above 6 is 11. 5 up from y equals 3 would be y equals 8. And 5 down from y equals 3 would be y equals negative 2. So I want a circle that more or less passes through these points. And that's why I did math rather than art. That's at least recognizable as intending to be a circle. If I translate up by 2, the circle will be tangent to the x-axis, but they didn't give us an option of translating up. They said translate down. This distance is 3, because it's the y-coordinate at the center. And this distance is the radius, 5 to translate down so that the circle is tangent, I have to translate down so that this point is tangent. So my translation, A equals 8. And let's check that in the original, in this equation. x minus 6 squared plus y minus 3 plus 8 squared equals 25, which is 5 squared. That is x minus 6 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 5 squared. And my center is hk equals 6, negative 5, and radius r equals 5. If the center is at y equals negative 5 and the radius is 5, we are tangent to the x-axis, so this did in fact work. The correct answer would be 8. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.